Right. Okay. Case case for a dump. <clears throat> I, I guess the case for a dump would be we start higher than sack rate. People FOMO in uh, or, or right off the get go. Price runs up. Everyone's up like 10 X on their sack or more based on when they got in. So like 12, 13, 14 X up and we come crashing right back down. And I think the case for us not dumping One of the things I've been thinking about recently is, you know, okay, so this incentive token is an interesting play. And we've been seeing these 40x, 50x, or 40x multipliers on the incentive token. And I think that if you can get enough people to be overly incentivized to not sell their tokens and to provide liquidity so that way any impermanent loss that they would even receive would be completely obliterated by the amount of profit they'd be in for getting the incentive token, I think you could see. A, more liquidity, which would mitigate some of the volatility, and B, you'd see less of a sell-off. Because if you can get, if you can maybe get some impermanent loss, uh, or if you get even like a, a fairly significant impermanent loss because of some volatility, but the incentive token is so stupidly high in your return, I mean, hell, I'd even possibly consider that, you know? And because if you can make a profit while, while you should technically be losing, I mean you're still in a profit regardless of you can always just buy back in, you know, for a lot of people, that's going to make a lot of sense. And so I think if that's the case that could prevent a dump as well. Um, but then it just comes down for me to the unknown unknowns. And at the end of the day, I don't have a damn clue what's going to happen. And I don't want to pretend like I have a clue. I'm just, there's just so much to, that I can't account for that. I think what we all expect is going to happen is not going to happen. And I think it's going to, we're going to get surprised ultimately. And I know it's kind of outside the, the answer. It's not like an answer without being an answer fully, but yeah. I don't know how to give an actual answer to that. Honestly, I really don't. I got a good one for this. Go for it. Dude. Um, yeah. So, you know, you guys got to remember when the sacrifices happened, right? So uh, both for pulse and pulse X, they happened near the top, right? So people don't know that they're down yet. Uh, you know, you sacrificed hex at 20, 20 cents. Okay. It's at six cents now. Uh, that's a huge difference, right? Um, there's a lot less value you can extract out of hex now than you could at uh, 20 cents. Okay. Um, and you know, people don't realize that they're actually down at the moment. Right. So, um, pulse chain is, you know, in my eyes, you guys should be prepared mentally, uh, for a dip more so than, uh, you know, a 10 X or, you know, this exuberant, uh, entrance in the pulse chain, right? You guys should, you know, just naturally get ready for the thing that you d are not expecting to happen, which is a dip. Like nobody apparently thinks a dip is coming or that's going to happen. But I mean, you know, rationally speaking, you guys sacrificed at the top. Um, you know, there's a lot more value you can extract at a, you know, uh, a 60% um, now then you know hex at 20 cents and it's at six cents now right so uh you know i would mentally prepare for uh, some sort of dip uh, just naturally um you know in instead of like oh my god i'm down 50 percent. oh my god this is going to zero and i'm selling everything now uh you know yeah don't do that right you know prepare yourself for that situation so you don't do the bad thing which is oh my god i'm selling everything before it goes to zero you know what i mean so um i i think you know that's probably what you guys should be doing right and it's just more naturally probably going to be a dip right um we're st we're still not in a bull market yet right um people are extracting value out of hex even though uh the uh main net is right around the corner okay that should tell you something right like uh, you know it's not to go without saying so yeah that's we're, we're gonna circle back to why people are selling hex too because that is a question i've been getting like every day but yeah, uh yeah. well I think I got a great idea about that as well. So, you know, hey. Go in, let's go into it. it. Let's go into it now, and then we'll hit Walrus uh, for uh, for the dump, dump question as well. But, yeah, wh while you're on a roll, Dylan, go for it. Sure. Um, you know, with that being said, the dip question, uh, you know, some bigger guys have been getting out of Hex. You, why, you may ask. Well, why would they sell their copy? You know, that's a, it's a fantastic question because we've all been told, okay, yeah, buy your Hex for the Pulse Chain copy uh, so you get, uh, you know, double your Hex, right? Well, what happens if it's cheaper to buy Pulse Chain when the bridges are open? Then what? Like, what are you going to do? 
you're you're stuck with the you know your uh your your, your pee pee in your hand right so um you know the, the bigger guys have been exiting their hex position i'm assuming for this situation right so i think that's just another further reason why we're more likely to have a dip um just in general uh than you know a 10x pump or something like this so that's what i think yeah, I, I keep saying too, just I think people are voting with their money. I don't think that they think we're close enough to pulse chain launch yet. Oh, yeah, because it, if we were, you know, it goes against all conventional wisdom in the world to not, you know, at, at least sell hex. You can be neutral, but like if you're not buying it, if you're selling it, you know, the conventional wisdom is if you buy it, you get the copy, you get the free thing, and then you can do what you want afterwards. So apparently people don't think we're that close to pulse chain launch. They haven't seen whatever indicator they're looking for in order to say, hey, price looks good, maybe the bottom's in, whatever uh, data they're going off of, and then buy it up into, into launch. Um, yeah, and, and I mean, I've been tracking, uh, we, we have a, a chat where we track a, a shitload of bigger guys, right? And a lot of them have more hex than they know what to do with, okay? And it looks like they're just getting cash ready on hand. And then they're, they're, they still have you know shark positions, dolphin positions, and they're still just waiting, right? But they are getting out and they are getting cash in hand, so. I don't know. Maybe that continues. Um, maybe it doesn't. But you know, it, it might be a hedge in case that there is a dip to have cash on hand to buy the dip uh, with stables. Which you know, that's not a bad. It's not a bad idea. You know, so I don't know, that's that's what I've been noticing. How that kind of dovetails into so hex. Uh, say that. Can I jump on that one real quick? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, Waller. So there's so many so many good questions from this. But yes. Yeah. 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 yeah no. No. No worries, man. So graphics, when we did our stream, what was that a year ago? And I was like, huh, maybe you should hold stables. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we, we talked that. about that. Yeah, we talked about the same issue. So there's a variety of like things that can come up with like holding hex. One is again, if your exposure is to that event, then you can't then you can't opportunistically take advantage of it, like Dylan's talking about. So if you just assume that one of these things is gonna dip, all right, I'm just gonna hold dry powder, let you guys go sell whichever one. Like when everyone asks, like, hey, like which one am I gonna buy at launch? Whichever one you guys don't want. Exactly. I like all of them. I'm just going to buy whichever one's cheap. I don't care. It doesn't really matter to me. EHEX, any of these things. Again, so do I know? Because I don't know which one's going to outperform which. I assume they're all going to go up. So I'm not that confident in my evaluation. I just take the cheap one. Like that's, that's just basic market 101. Like that's data science 101. Just you guys pick. I'll just take the cheap one. You guys can... Because what you're because what you're looking at from a like a probabilistic or like a sports betting or again it depends on these terms. There's, I like to use other words and then it makes more sense for certain people. Is when those things come out, if you buy the expensive one, what you're saying is that you're willing to buy the premium on your evaluation that you're right. I'm not. I'm just going to take the cheap one and trust that they all go up. So I'll have an allocation that spreads across. But again, if you're holding stables, do we think EHEX dumps? Everyone wants to jump into PX, maybe. Maybe PHEX dumps because there's so many people holding it only so they can move their copy over. There's a variety of four things, but if I'm sitting here in all of them, then I can't take advantage of that. And I don't really want to move one of these assets around. If I just got a big pile of powder, I just start blowing stuff up when everybody else starts to panic and move and adjust their position around. Um, so especially when you look at the copies, I don't want to go down the, like we can go down the math a little bit, but it just, it, it spins people out. But essentially, if you look at the copies, the copies are worth sort of like at sack value of like pulse and pulse X and these things. So like to kind of make a dollar equivalence, they're worth only like five to 8% or so at launch. Yeah. So the, the principle has always been infinitely more important to protect, which is what me and graphics talked about a long, long time ago. This wasn't me being like, Hey guys, don't buy hex. I've bought tons of hex since then. Uh, not to buy P hex. It's Hey, the, the, the magic here is in protecting the principle. And it almost always is protect your principle and then make some decisions. So if you're, if you were buying hex or like PX, cause you're like, Hey, in two years after launch, PX is the greatest thing ever. Cool. It makes sense. Keep loading up. That's fine. If you're like, Hey, how do I opportunistically take advantage of these opportunities? Stable coins, I think have been the play for a long time. Like that's something that we've really tried to bring up for another, and another small one again, before we just move on is um, it's, I feel like there's almost like a public service announcement. If anyone has looked on V3 or V4 at the hex PLS pair, and then you realize how many people are going to hit that pair the first 48 hours. That thing is going to explode, implode, explode, implode. That thing is going to have the mother of all wicks and bank runs. Just be careful with that pair. If if you if you're having to listen to any of the stuff that any of these any of these guys are talking about, and you're not 100% sure, 
leave it alone. Do not touch that pair. There'll be a, there'll be other stuff that moves around. You can play, but that one's going to be especially thin, and it's going to be the most pull, probably the most interacted with besides maybe PLS PLSX. So don't do that. Do not do that. Yeah, if if you don't know what's going on, you're someone else's profit margin. So <laughs> yeah, if yes, you I'm don't saying. know who the sucker is at the table, I was going to say, here it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, or you're next. You're sitting next to them. One of those. Um, there's so, a there's a small joke. I'll, I'll get this out real quick. Uh, then I'll promise to get off the mic. Um, a guy who was a mentor of mine for a long time, who was a pretty rough guy, but I absolutely love him. Um, but sometimes when you hear other people coaching, a lot of us do try to put out good information, but just for people's just to take, to take some framing around a lot of the advice and some of the things that other people say, there was an expression that uh, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, right? Well, if you teach a man to fish, you're an effing idiot. You just ruin the market for everybody. Don't teach people to fish. They're your buyers, right? So like some of the stuff to be careful and like think through some of the stuff and remember that like, Hey, what am I trying to accomplish? What are the people who are speaking to me to accomplish? Uh, so there's a lot there. So just take stuff slow. And in general, unless you know what's going on, just, just do nothing. Like if you just, if you just stick around, don't screw up your principle and stay in the game, you're likely to be better off in two years. That toxic capitalism is killing me right now. Walrus. <laughs> Uh, so what, one more on, actually, I, I think it's a more important question and we kind of touched on it earlier though, but I have to add a couple from Dylan's. You guys are, by the way, amazing. Like my head is just going on all these different directions on these questions. I'm really trying to cover as much as we can, but there's like so much going on. So many good threads to go down, trying to pick the, the best one to at least as best I can. However, we, as I said, we, we touched on this a little bit earlier with graphics and uh, Dylan, but what do you say to the people who, you know, are who are on board the narrative and maybe rightfully so that, you know, you said before you're, you know, you're looking for the best deal that could be hex, could be pulse chain, pulse X. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's kind of like, Hey, you're looking to see what's out there. What do you say to people who are like, Hey, hex already went up 10,000 X. Maybe it's sitting at a thousand X right now or whatever. We know with the potential of uh, pulse chain and pulse X, we, we, we see all the uh, tokenomics and game theory. We got the people in the community. We believe in this project. It's going to be around for a long time. We know how many X's it's starting at, you know, it's, it's starting at zero, you know, on a, on a price wise as well. What, what would be the case for I guess not, maybe not ignoring that narrative, but just looking at, is there a bigger picture to look at than yes. why would I buy hex instead of just getting the coin that's brand new and has the most potential of, uh, in, in, in that kind of perspective. So if I told you that you could make a 10 year investment in X, Y, Z, big blue chip country, right? Okay. Or this brand new country that's never existed with experimental tech, which one you want? Like, so as much as we say, Hey, pulse, pulse, X, whatever the, the new thing is, wave is going to be positive. What you're looking at is like, why does it have upside? Cause it hasn't done it yet. Like you're betting on the future. So one of the big things that I, I like to look for is like, I'm like, if someone asks me like, right now, do you think Pulse and Pulse X are going to thousand X? I know what they're asking, but I'm going to tell you no, because I don't think anything thousand X is because that shit doesn't happen very often. And I don't even want that like in my mental space. So what I do like about them is that I'm almost sure that they're going to likely 10 X. And what I'm, what I'm almost talking about price, what I'm getting at is I'm very, very confident that in the near future, I'm in a plus EV position that I'm just up on value, right? I'm not betting on thousand X's because that's a stupid bet. Like that's a 10 way parlay that hits, right? Those are bad bets. So I don't come into things where I'm like, Hey, this thing can go up 10,000 X. This thing can go up a thousand X. That's stupid. I feel like, and I know why we preach in our community. So again, I'm not, I'm not bashing like, you know, RHS sentiment or like extra those things. Like I'm, I'm just pushing back to like add some clarity to the framework. Right? So betting on things a thousand X is stupid. Like you'll always miss, right? I don't look for that. Well, if we're looking for these things, I want to look for something where I'm like, Hey, I know I'm going to be up. I know I'm going to 10 X. Right. So if you look at the chart and you look at the participation, the community around something like X, why, what would, what would go on where I see Fiat and I see the Maximus guys and I see Hedron and HSIs and XYZ and I see people on a cruise what about that makes me think it's not going to give me a, a plus EV move in the future and then I'm not going to get a 10 X. That's what I want. I want a locked and loaded plus move 10 X. That's what I look for. I, I don't care what's going to 10,000 X. If I did, I would literally just shotgun into whatever trash was out there and wait for the next meme to hit. It's a waste of time. So 
the again, we want to have again. I'm I'm not saying that any of these things are going to be valuable. There's a reason I spend so much time in the ecosystem and all that. But when we're just looking for framework, don't think of it as just pulse pulse section things. Think of it as there's a new layer one that does not exist that has a really big promise, and I'm hoping it does well. That's not meant to, again. That's not meant to be like fud on pulse chain. But that's how you need to look at that because at some point that's what this is. It's pulse chain because you love it and because I love it and because we all talk to each other. But to anything else as an investor, as investor, as a speculator, it's a brand new thing that's never done anything that starts at zero that you're optimistic about. So add some of that framework to these things. And that's why you can say, hey, I'm, I'm going to dance with the one that brought me, the one that's done well, that has a Lindy effect that's been in history. So even for something like Bitcoin, like is Bitcoin going to be around? If you said, hey, in 10 years, what's more likely to be to exist, Pulse Chain or Bitcoin? Well, I love Pulse Chain, so I'm very confident it's going to be here. But the answer is Bitcoin. It doesn't go anywhere, right? So we want to take away some of these emotional terms and make sure that we we always, you know, again, you want to have exposure because these things can 1,000x and they can 10,000x and they can come in and break systems and do irrational things. And you want exposure to that, but you also want to dump some cold water and rationalize and look and say, hey, at some point, I'm speculating on something that hasn't happened. Let me put that back in context. Well, if and when we uh, do the 10,000x meme, I, uh, I think we may. I, I'm, I'm buying cigars. How about that? I'm buying cigars for everyone. <laughs> Let's do it. Best, best Cubans I could find. Graphics, you want to pull on that thread or, or, or go? Yeah, I mean, I think, I, I think what, you, what you're hitting on is is very important point is every one of these pieces to the chessboard that has been added that we're all looking at and we're all excited about, it all came from a necessity of one thing needing additional stuff and, and trying to make one thing better. And that thing's been Hex, right? So Hex was the thing that was originally designed to for a purpose, right? And it already showed in the past that it can perform extraordinarily well. Now it's tra retraced back down, obviously quite a bit, but still, Pulse Chain only exists because... Hex needs a chain that can make it perform properly. PulseX exists to supplement that so that Pulse Chain has a focus, a focus point for economic energy to come through, which can then possibly give opportunity to people in the ecosystem, right? So, I mean, when you put up everything, you, like we talk about all these projects that are coming out, they don't, they don't exist if Hex doesn't exist. And Hex is that thing. So, yes, PulseX, Pulse, all these other protocols can do amazing but i think like you said Wallace, they're they're new they haven't been tested yet we, we don't know how they're going to perform and so it's it's easy to have that shiny object not syndrome but be like the new thing the new thing it's going to go because hex was the new thing once and it went up 10,000 hex but that's that's not the safest way to do it. i mean got to remember our roots and why all this exists and not forget about the thing that caused this entire little mini revolution of sorts that we're kind of sitting in the midst of, right? And remember what you're holding.